Hi, welcome to another tutorial about build your own ISO. At Arch Linux, you have three ways to install Arch Linux or to make Arch Linux your own. We have a big ISO, to have fun ISO, this is what we called it, two gigabytes big, and have a learning ISO, which is a base, a minimal ISO, one gigabyte. You're in the black terminal, and then you run your scripts and build up your system. And there's a third way, the Arch Linux B, or build your own system. That's phase four that we have entered now. And our vision is that we give you all the power you need to change whatever you want on that ISO. If you don't like OpenOffice, or if you do like OpenOffice, put it on. If you want a Steam on it, on the Arch Linux ISO, please add it, etc. So everything is uh, up to you. It's a full control. You can have any of the desktops that we've already visited in here and you can just burn for build an iso this means arch linux b this sign means script we start in arch linux b with a script and the end result is an iso with a specific kind of desktop and all the desktops will visit we can make or we will make an iso from it now if you say whoa i'm not ready to build anything this is not my cup of tea then there is always here a collection of everything we've built. So we have to test it anyway, so why not put it online in an ISO form? So you can say, okay, what? Uh, how does it look like? Yeah? BSP WM, if I burn it myself, then you have the latest version with all the updates and all the changes from the Arch Linux ISO. But this is a frozen one from the 3rd of June. And if you just want to have a look and say, oh, what does it feel like? then this is also working great. But the idea is actually to build it so you have the latest updates in. Okay, that's that. Let's go and install GNOME. So this is how to install of make Ctrl C Arcolinks B Arco GNOME. So we go to your desktop Right mouse click, open terminal, control shift V, get it in there. So what we did is to copy paste from the internet. We've got the codes. And then, well, basically we have to go in here, in here, and then open a terminal. That's better. Oops, the other screen. Like it big, like this. Number 30. We run it. And from time to time he asks a yes, and yes, and yes, three times yes, and then everything is, is running again. It might happen that things, um, you, that you get errors or something like that. Uh, give it, I don't know, a half an hour, an hour, and then see if it's still the same error. It depends, updates, mirrors, and all that, um, if at some point you succeed. I have the same issues when I'm building Arch Linux ISO. So from time to time, you have to wait a little bit for an update to come through to all the servers. So basically, I'm gonna uh, wait and we'll see an ISO coming up. We can show you that already. So there's an Arch Linux B dash build that has been created and in here, everything will happen. And eventually we'll have an out folder in there and this out folder, there we'll have an ISO. You put it in a virtual box, you test it out, you don't like it, you want to change other things. Be my guest. So where do you change things? You go to your desktop, Arco Gnome, Arch ISO. This is what you are going to put on your system. So these are the applications that you need. Some of them keep off. If you know about hardware, please be my guest. If you have Bumblebee problems or stuff like that, Add it to your system so we can have uh, that's also one of my goals uh, we cannot support all the hardware out there because well frankly because we're not millionaires we don't have all the hardware to test on so uh, we hope that you know what hardware you need and you add it to the iso you put it just in here and hashtag out things you don't need and that's it basically and all the rest is the simple things are like inkscape you never use inkscape you never use gimp don't want LibreOffice, it's hashtagged out. So you just put the hashtag in front of it. 
I recommend you don't delete it, put a hashtag, and later on, after a month's time, you re-download my Git clone, compare with Melt, nice little, little program, Melt, and you compare the two folders, and then you see, oh, he added this, I added that, and then you update your own uh, configuration. Okay, that's it. Uh, it's uh, downloading, so I'm going to pause here. And the script has finished. We have an Article Linux B GNOME, 2.2 gigabytes big, and it's going to be an Eric here, Article Linux B build, Arch ISO out. So this is the thing, this is the result with all the scripts. One script to start with, edit the packages of both. You have an ISO, put it in the virtual box, test it out. Don't like it, add change, add and, or, or change or um, delete packages you don't want and uh, build it again and until you're satisfied and then you can burn it on a usb and put it on your ssd all right enjoy build your own iso